Anytime a city allows cars in a certain area, that area loses potential to be a destination where people want to spend time outside, a place that's safe and comfortable to spend time outside. Consider this multi-use path on the east side of the Schuylkill River in Philadelphia. I went for a bike ride with my dad here, and it has huge potential with this long, continuous park along the river, some amazing bridges, and plenty of shade from trees. Shade is an often overlooked element in urban design, and it's especially important on something like a multi-use path where people will be exercising. Unfortunately, all of these lovely design elements are practically ruined by this horrible highway that runs along the parkway for quite a long distance. I've got the volume turned down on the footage here so you can hear me, but just listen to this for a sec. It would be one thing to have a street along here open to cars, but because this is a high-speed road, the noise alone makes this path one I would avoid. And my dad, who has considerable hearing loss, immediately remarked on the excessive noise as well. Noise pollution from cars is harmful to human health. Even a moderate level of noise pollution increases our production of stress hormones like cortisol. And as with anywhere cars are allowed, there's often a prevailing smell of exhaust and pollution and the loss of fresh, clean air. Air pollution, which, by the way, is even worse inside your car while you're driving than it is on the street outside. This should matter to us. Even just the joy of breathing clean air in so much of our built environment is not a trivial thing to give up. This is why just building more bike infrastructure is not enough. We need to decenter private vehicles. We need people to drive slower and more mindfully, which requires physical traffic calming elements, not just pain and speed limit signs and we just simply need fewer people driving. This is a change which will benefit literally everyone in innumerable ways, physically, financially, and socially. The only downside, if you can call it that, is that a few auto industry executives and the politicians they're buying might get a little less rich.